Did you guys just see that? I just saw a shooting star. Where? Actually, I think that's a meteor, and they travel at over 15 miles a second. Really? Hey, I've seen your science pants. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she thought the sky was falling. Well, I think that we should make a wish. Well, I know what I'd wish for. Oh. Don't be so sure, Buster. What? A brush? <laughs> you might get some. Well, the problem isn't exactly Nick's hair. Well, I know. Girls like long hair. I mean, case in point is uh, Fabio over here. <laughs> Look at the super fly honey he brought on this trip. You mean Inviso girlfriend there? I thought Jamie broke up with him because... Uh, Jamie did not break up with him. He broke up with Jamie. Right, that's the story now. That's the official word. She had to go, excuse me guys, I gotta go. Hey there, Cochise, do you need a uh, bottle there to help? No, I'll be good there. Gross. Yeah. Come on, give me a chick over here. Hear that? I didn't hear anything. No, I'm serious. Did you guys hear that? What is she talking about? You know what? There is something. Dude, you should see this. This better be good. There's something you don't see every day. Well, I'm just thankful that Denise went home early because her mom's missing. Missing? Oh, yeah, she's like 89. Happens all the time. I'm sure she'll pop up. Do you think that's from an airplane? Well, oh, it could be. I could be a rock. What, like a, a meteor? Meteors aren't that big, so... That thing is so big. Uh, Don... Might be radiation. Oh. So we call the, uh, the right people. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll call them twice. Yeah, yeah. Go 
Don 30 to headquarters. Don 30 to headquarters, come in please. See, this is what I'm talking about. No cells, no radios. I mean, could an asteroid really screw up the atmosphere so you can't use a radio? Well, bigger and closer they are to Earth, more likely they are to disrupt the atmosphere, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's cool. Jason! See Monk. What about Monk? Don. Don, you okay? We're gonna go home, okay? Yeah. Yeah, let's get you home. Come on, Don. Get in. Get back home. You can call everyone from here to Japan if you like. I don't know what I want, okay? I think it, uh, think it hit Big Sur. Guess is as good as mine. What you call it? Yeah, it was before this, uh. What about, uh, what about Los Angeles? Don't you want to talk to your daughter? Call her when I get to a landline. Yeah, yeah, okay, look, I'm... Lindsay's gonna be fine, right? But she's a strong girl. She's... She's gonna be fine. Chemistry midterm tomorrow. <laughs> You're so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Oh. I don't get her. I made it hard. Hey guys. Guys, you've got to come see this. What? Come on, hurry, I'm serious. My mom lives in Big Sur, that's like 20 miles from there. They didn't say it was hit. And they didn't say it wasn't. I'm sure your mom is okay. Really? Really she's okay? Because 100,000 people just died and what? My mom was spared because 
Help me out here. No, I was Lizzie, just saying. Relax. She's just saying the meteor didn't hit the so that's it. She has friends in Monterey. She could be there or dead. I need to go. Okay, okay. I need okay. to go up north. Fine. You know what? I'll go with you. No, you can't go. Your mom knows you're here. If you leave, then what if she's in trouble? I'm sorry. I can't stay. I have to go. I have myself. Lindsay, the roads can't be safe. Lindsay! Hello? Hi, Mom. Good. No, we're watching the news right now. I don't know. Looks like Monterey mostly. I know. It's his plan. No, I'm not afraid. What about Dad? Honey, listen now. This is important. Stay at your house. Yeah, I'm on my way. Nothing? Nothing. I just want you to be safe. Okay, well, if he calls... Well, no, I just thought since... Okay, well, if he calls, he'll let me know. Thanks. Now look, I'm leaving now, and I'll be there tomorrow. I love you so much. Okay, bye. I don't think I've ever known anyone that's died before. Have you, Amanda? Yeah. My uncle died when I was five, and my grandparents. All those people. They're in a better place now. They're ashes. You know what she means. No, I don't. What better place? With God! And I have news for you, this is not part of God's plan. You don't know that. So what, killing thousands of people was on God's to-do list? You can't to... look at it that way! Amanda, this isn't a happy day! It's not a happy day for any of us! I need to smoke. Why are you all you know so angry? Amanda, just drop it. Andrew, you don't even live here, shut up! Boy, do you have a problem with my boyfriend now too? No, I just... Where are we going? Just go. Joining us now is Dr. Masako Kobashi, winner of the Nobel Prize for Physics and Chemistry. Dr. Kobashi is a consultant on NASA policy. Yes, Tom. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Dr. Kobashi, what are we looking at? Can you tell us in simple terms what we have That thing's huge. It leaves a pop mark on the face of the entire Earth. And NASA doesn't see us coming? I guess these things happen hard and fast. It's like when Lindsay hit that deer. That's a deer. This is like the sky is falling. Well, the point is, it comes out of nowhere. No, it doesn't make sense. They've got radars. They've got Dopplers. They've got all those expensive star-chasing machines. And they didn't see this coming. And now all those people are wiped off the face of the Earth. Yeah. It's not like they could have seen it coming. But you can't run, you can't hide. When that rock is falling, it's your time. Yeah, I, I know people who, who've died before, but this is just so... Big. Exactly. Biblical. Big. Did you talk to Lindsay? Uh, no. The phone lines are busy. I guess everyone's trying to call everyone. I'm sure she wants to talk to you. Yeah, I'm sure of it. You don't think she's calling her a dean, you? I hope not. Anyway, you should try to call the USDA again. It's a mesh point. See what virus this thing started up here. All right, yeah. let's see where it comes from. Oh. <laughs> Ashley, oh, oh God, Daddy. you're okay. God, I was so scared. I, you came so close to being sir. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, you know, it came really close. Wow, I'm so emotional. <laughs> That's okay, you know, I was crying the whole time up here. 
but yeah, we were up on Old Stage Road and, and, and it, the, everything started coming down. And just. I saw Monk outside. He's looking good. Yeah, yeah. Jason? Ashley. I uh, tried to get a hold of Lindsay. You know, she's okay. I talked to her. Oh, good. G great. I told her that we were coming down. Uh, Ashley, I don't know if you've noticed, but something... Well, I'd love to, but... I, I know. Ashley, there's no way. Man, oh, tell, just... I t tell you what. I'll, I'll do it. It's no big deal. It's just coordinating a bunch of fire choppers, fire trucks. Don, that's fun. not point. Don, that's really nice of you, but you're coming with us. Well, that's really not necessary. Ashley, what do you say? This wasn't the only asteroid. Wilson told me before he left. What? Let you know what? Why aren't you with Wilson? An S-type asteroid hit a major population center. And because of that, all eyes are on the sky, and they found another one. Bigger? Smaller? What? Same size? What are we talking about? We're talking bigger. Oh, come on, Ashley. Lightning like this strike California twice, you can't be kidding me. It doesn't matter. Why not? Why wouldn't it matter? Of course it matters. This is one that Wilson is calling an extinction starter. So, what, we have a matter of hours? Minutes? They're projecting four days, but it could be sooner and it could be later. How big is it? How big? The one that hit Monterey was as big as a house. But the one that's going to hit the Earth is a rock the size of Texas. So we need to go see our daughter now before everybody starts panicking and we can't drive and we can't fly and we can't even get there. Don, I think you should come with us. I think I need to uh, go see my brother in Sausalito. Jason, you've been a really good friend to me. Thanks for everything. Yeah. Bye, Ashley. Monk? Monk? Let's go! Don. Wait here. Don. Don? Don! What's wrong? Ah, uh, Slacky vanished. We can't have gone far. Just about having a quick look. Don! Don! What is this, snow? It might be ash from the comet. Try not to breathe it in, it may be toxic. Where's Don? Don't know. What is it? Nothing. Maybe get back inside. What about Don? Sure is fine. Let's just get back inside for now. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, you said you wanted to get to know me, so here's my deepest circus secret. What, that you're a Jesus freak? Hardly. But sometimes I like to come here and think about things, you know? You are so weird, you know that? You're weird. Hey. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good. You a pastor or something? Oh, no, no, no. Father Sebastian's not in right now. Is he sick? No, no. You know him? No, my... He's my mom's friend. Oh, okay, wonderful. No, I haven't been able to get in touch with him, and he's usually the first person here during a crisis. It always like this? No. But in times of 
tragedy for comfort, we try to keep the doors open for all the parishioners. So, well, make yourselves at home, I'm gonna... Thanks. You know that guy? I've seen him around. I think he works in the office or something. So, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Sit. Reflect. So what if I don't pray or whatever? Andrew, I'm not trying to convert you. I just thought this would be relaxing. Or at least it is for me. Okay. One question though. What about you always telling me you don't pray? Do you have a problem with this? No. Just kind of strange, that's all. Especially after last night. Stop that. Shh. Stop that or that's the last time. Fine. What about your piercings and tattoos and stuff? What? You think that God has a problem with my piercings and tattoos and stuff? <laughs> I don't know. You just put on this tough girl act, you know? It's just weird being here. Well, glad to enlighten you. Hey, you know what? We can leave if you want. No, it's okay. Seriously. So this is your church, huh? Yep. You come here every Sunday? Not every Sunday. Well, if you don't come on a Sunday, what? Do you make it up during the week or something? What are you getting at? You're not an agnostic. I mean, you believe in God, it's obvious, Lindsay. I am just covering all the bases. No, you're not, you're cheating. Who? Your friends, me. Lindsay, you believe in God. You don't have to be embarrassed, just say it. Where is this coming from? You know, you're right. Because I live in Santa Claus, too. Okay, you know what? This is exactly why I didn't tell you about it in the first place. You're such a jerk sometimes. Now, would Jesus say that? About you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he would say that oh, about you. Yeah, he'd say that about you. <laughs> Don, this is Jason. Do you copy? Don, this is Jason. Do you copy? Come in. Why isn't he answering? I don't know. Uh, maybe the ash is interfering in the reception. You can't go back outside. Well, I'm not getting any reception here. What am I meant to do? Something happened out there. I can always tell when you're hiding something. Fine. They're only out there for a few seconds. I mean, maybe the, the ash is toxic or something. Yeah, but toxic enough to make both Don and Monk disappear. Look, we were out there longer than Don was, but we're still here. We can run straight to the truck. If we're gonna make it to LA in time to be with our little girl, then we better leave right now. Jason, what is your problem with this? Are you afraid to die? I'm gonna take the program there. What's that? Landslide, get in! Get in! Can you see it? No, I can't. Don't look back, just try. Jason! Jason! Slow down, we're okay. Jason, we're okay now, slow down. We're okay now. And this will all be over in a few days. Don't warn Don. 
because we'll see him soon. Just focus on our daughter. We need to get to Los Angeles. The president's going to speak. Think he'll mention the end of the world? I hope so. But I doubt it. isn't going to tell us anything that we don't already know. Well, maybe there's some sort of contingency plan. I don't know. Hope? What's that? There is hope. It's not what it meant. You know it. There's salvation. We don't go into this right now. I'm sorry we don't have that luxury. We have to talk about it now. About what? God? Jason, there is no more time. You've put this off long enough, you have to confront it. Confront what? Robbie's death. Forgiveness and redemption. Nothing to say about it. To my beliefs let it go. Stop. Why are you brought it up? Jason, look, stop the car. Officer! Officer, please! My nephew! I'm not an officer. It's Dr. Reed! Dr. Reed! You need a doctor? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm Dr. Reed. My nephew, all right? Uh, he was here and then he's not here and he's gone and I. Well, he's missing. I don't know where he is. I don't know where my nephew is. I was driving in my car and my nephew was in the back seat and I looked in the mirror and, and, and he was gone. I mean, he's just gone and I, I don't understand. Jason. And this is your car? Yes, this is my car, and he was in it, and now he's gone, and, and uh, okay. I mean, the doors were locked, all right? He couldn't have fallen out. He just disappeared, I don't... Dr. Reed, we'll scout the area, all right? No, he was in the car, he wasn't in the area. Dr. Reed, you need to just calm down just for a second. <sighs> Dr. Reed, we need you to calm down, all right? Just, would you listen to me, all right? He's gone, okay? He's gone. Jason. Seems like his nephew's missing. Maybe he's just in shock or something. 
Sir, where were you coming from? What? Where do you live? Uh, Monterey. Are you a cop? No, sir. Monterey. Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? I didn't see where he went. Dr. Reed! Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed! Dr. Reed! Doctor! Good evening. I'm speaking to you from the city of San Jose. I can't believe this is happening. What's wrong with everyone? Who knows? I guess some people just want to take advantage of the situation. Hey. In its aftermath, come here. We've seen fellow citizens left stunned, left rooted, searching for loved ones. Don't worry. We're gonna be fine. We're in a good neighborhood, and your parents will be here soon. Why are we stuck in this house? We need to go out. I want to go to Griffith Park and look down on the city. I, I want to see the sunset into the ocean. Come on, let's go. Lindsay, we can't go that far. It's too dangerous. Look what the news is saying. I mean, do you see this? The city's tearing itself apart. We're not going. No. No. What do you mean, no? Lindsay, what are you doing? I do not want to die in this house that I don't even Stop. like. Let me go! Stop it! Oh, stop it! Lindsay, we'll be safe here. Maybe your mom knows somewhere we can go. You can't give up. I, I am not giving up. You are giving up by staying here. No, I'm being safe! Daddy? I think I need to call my mom again. Lucia? Sweetie? Lucia? 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 like ash. It's so thick. Yeah. And here comes the rain. But 
never seen anything like it. So heavy. I got a few questions for you myself. Like, like, why didn't you go with Wilson? I wanted to see Lynn. Besides, Wilson went to see his family in Denver. Okay, so why come see me? I thought that you would want to see Lindsay one last time, too. Besides, you know what a bad driver I am. Well, if you caught 31 violations in the last 12 months, then yeah. Some of those were not my fault. Oh, yeah. I thought we were meant to be being honest with each other right now. I am scared. I know that sounds funny coming from me, but I am really scared. You're allowed to be scared. I'm not scared for my soul. I'm scared for my body. Because all of this is just a little, it's a little much, you know? What is going on? Listen to that. That quiet is really nice. What is that? Don't tell me that's not a tornado. Los Angeles in two hours. Everyone dies, Jason. Do you remember when uh, Robbie was in the hospital with his first meningitis scare? God, what was he, two weeks old? We just had him home from the hospital. We were so sick with worry. 
mom was taking care of Lindsay. And you were at... And we were at the hospital around the clock. And I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop shaking. And it got so... So bad that you had to take me into the medical supply closet. Do you remember what you said to me? You said you said everything works out, Ash. There's a plan. Yeah, well, guess I was wrong. But you were right. You weren't wrong. There's always a plan, Jason. You're lost. Once you get to the I-5, you can go through the San Rafael. 33 to the 150. It's a trek from to Los Angeles. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm going a thousand miles a second. Don's messy. I'm not with my daughter. I can't get to Los Angeles. The world's about to end. And why'd you say you love me back there? Because if we were going to die, I wanted those to be my last words to you. Tighten your seatbelt. Damaged. So addicted, huh? There's no harm in them now. What's that on the head? I can't tell. You right? Sleep. Okay. 
I just want to see my wife. Look, we can take you to the nearest city and get you to the land, right? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't know you. I don't believe you! No! I can't do that. So you don't know why. I can take you to the nearest town. Don't not do that. I can't let you take me. We can take you home. We're all hurting. <laughs> hurting. I wasn't worthy of his love. Why has God forsaken me? No! Don't look at that. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Be all right.
are we gonna walk all the way to LA? <laughs> I'm open suggestions. Well, we need to get there faster. What do you expect me to do? I don't have control over the situation anymore. I got control over the earthquake and the guy just blew his damn head off. What, you think I should have tried harder with him? No. Just like Robbie, I think I should have tried harder. Oh, jeez. Well, that's what you think. It was no one's fault. Except mine. I never said that. You didn't have to. You're gonna die resenting me for something I had no control over. Stop it. You're twisting this. You are making this. I'm thirsty. Well, then tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I didn't do everything. Jason, please don't do this. You don't think every last moment of his life goes through my head every day? You know, what if I got him to the hospital a, a day earlier? What if I paid more attention to his fever? What if I got him to the ICU instead of the ER? I mean, what if, what if, what if, what if? It runs circles in my head and it drives me crazy. I know. And that is what broke us up, not Robbie. Because we could have survived that. But it was you who was withdrawn and who was alone. Yet you blamed yourself and I couldn't help you find your peace. I couldn't help you find God. I never blamed you for not loving Robbie. But I blamed you for not loving the rest of us. I need you to forgive yourself. I need you to forgive Robbie. And I need you to forgive God. Get out of her. We're living on borrowed time. Beer left. That was it. Oh, I see. Oh, don't, don't touch it. Oh. Oh. Don't don't touch it. God, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? No one's come. Shh, no one's ever shh, come before. Shh, shh, shh. Look, look at me. Look at me. It's okay. Hey, someone's, someone's gonna come. I guess I should have dropped on a pencil. <laughs> it would have helped. Pray with me. 
You have to pray with me. Come here. I don't need that. I need to know you're with me. That you and Lindsay are going to be with me when all this is over. Ashley. I don't want your comfort. I want you to look around. I mean, the water is blood. The fire from the sky. People vanishing. Look in your heart, Jason. We're living it. The apocalypse. Oh, don't even go there. No, no, no. See, Ashley, this isn't the end of the world, all right? This isn't a message from God or any prophecy. This is about a meteor coming in and just wiping us all out. And that water back there, it was hot. And that's what killed the fish. I'm left behind. You? Ha! Impossible. No. My faith needs to be stronger, just like yours. Look, my salvation is going back and seeing Lindsay, kissing her on the forehead and telling her I love her one last time. But the signs, Jason. Open your heart before it's too late. Don't you want to see Robbie again? But even if you don't make it, you're going to see her again. If you believe. You know what? You're impossible, you know that? Come on, let's go. I'm just saying, what if I don't find God before I die? You are not dying. You are not gonna Shh. die on me. You are not Shh. dying. Okay. Shh. I'm not gonna die. I'm not. Just... What, if, what if nothing happens? What are you expecting? The angels from the heavens, the trumpets, the, the choirs? I, I get it. I don't think it works that way, Andrew. So, so I just died. <laughs> and this is it. What did you think? Just a sign from God. Just, I mean, we're talking eternity. <laughs> just, I just want a sign. Something small. I just, I swear to you, I'll believe. I would believe. Yes. Miracles. They're all around us, Andrew. It's just too easy. But this is too easy. Life, the earth, me. No. No, look at me. You are a miracle. You're everything to me. I mean, is that divine intervention? You want him to raise people from the dead? You want him to um, turn water into wine? Just something. Because he did that already. And you still don't believe. Come <laughs> Just look at me. I'm just envious. <laughs> what? Listen, faith, it's the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. Okay? Over here! I haven't seen anyone in an hour. Are you okay? I'm fine, but my boyfriend's hurt. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm Khalil. I'm a visiting professor of the college. I, I, can I sit? Thanks. Oh, God. I'm fine. Everywhere look like this. Like this. Yeah. Some places better, some places worse. It's the quiet that's the most frightening. Everyone 
seems to be disappearing. Maybe you can explain what a tornado went through our house in the lake. No. Well, atmospheric anomalies, uh, changes uh, in, in the behavior. If if something was pulling, pushing on the atmosphere or so in a different direction, uh, we could get shifts in uh, tides, clouds, rain. So that explains the earthquakes and tornadoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we could change something that drastically. It would have to be really big. Like an asteroid. It would have to be a really big one. It's coming right at us. Hello? Anyone here? Park Ranger. I don't like this. We're in the middle of nowhere. We need to find some water and a radio. In a car, maybe. Car, maybe a plane. Think they disappeared too? Lines are out. I'm gonna check out back. Ashley? Jason? My name's Jason Ellis. I'm with the USDA. I'm a park ranger. The door was open. We just wanted to use your phone. And take our food? No. Um, listen, my name is Ashley and my husband's name is Jason, and we're just trying to get our daughter. She's in Los Angeles. Except the roads are all closed, and our truck got stuck in a fissure. So why are you in here? Like I said, we wanted to use your phone. We'll pay for the drinks. Audrey, get the man's wallet. It's in my front pocket. These years? Yes, ma'am. Your name is Jason Ellis? That's right. Ranger, huh? Audrey, take out two bucks. For the water. Nobody wants to hurt anybody. What's your daughter's name? Lindsay? How old? 18. Trouble. And your boy? He's gone. But he was four. Sorry. There's nothing worse than seeing your child go. Thank you. Listen, I know this looks bad. But we're not bad people. So we're just gonna go and we're gonna get out of your way. It's been a rough couple of days, but stay, please. Thank you. Do you have a bathroom that I could use? Around the corner, down the hall. I don't see your car. Did you walk into LA? Audrey. Well, like she said, it kind of got stuck. Don't suppose you got a bike we can use. Nope. I'm not giving you my bike. No one's taking your bike, sweetheart. Is that a radio? Joining us now is Dr. Masako Kobashi, winner of the Nobel Prize for Physics and Chemistry. Dr. Kobashi is a consultant on NASA policy. Yes, Tom. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. 
Dr. Kobashi, what are we looking at? Can you tell us in simple terms what we have just experienced? The answer is like Tsunami, what's that? It's like a big wave, baby. Will it hit us? No. Too far above water level. See that? We're lucky. For once. Your daughter's in Los Angeles? Yeah. Let's hope she has a radio. Here. This. What are they? It's from the earthquake. There are pictures from the satellite. Wow. You have internet? I thought the lines were dead. Well, I get wireless, and there's a feed from the house down the street. Are you stealing? Mom, it's free wireless. Come on, I'll show you. So this is the meteor that hit Monterey? No, this isn't the one that hit the city. This is a bigger one. It's gonna kill the Earth. I'm sure that's just talk on the internet. No, it's not. I know it's not. You're a smart kid, aren't you? I promise you won't tell my mom. I don't want her to worry about this. I promise. Listen, I'm sorry about the gun. It's not like me, I swear. I'm a likable girl. I understand. My boyfriend kind of left us the other day. No rhyme or reason. <sighs> right before all this started happening. Kind of when I needed him the most, you know? <sighs> so I'm a little on edge. He was a sweet guy. I just want to know that he's okay. I'm sure he is. Thanks. Was he a man of God? <sighs> Devout. We actually met online in a Christian chat room. Then you're a believer, too? Well, truth be told, not really. I mean, I believe, but he believes. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. He's just a like bunch of, well, jerks. And I thought, what am I doing? Audrey needs to be around better people with good morals, so I went online, met John. Thought he was the one, too the other day. Poof. Gone. I chased another one out the door. Idiot. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm rambling and I don't even know you. Look, if you're a believer, then you know that John is with God. Are you saying he's dead? No. I'm saying that at the end of days, God takes home his true believers. And... This is the end of days. I heard on the radio the other day that another asteroid's fixing to hit us. You hear about that? End of days, huh? Listen, don't tell my daughter about the asteroid. Well, John's not the only one that's disappeared. A lot of people. Thank you. It's a nice thought, but... You're really trying to find your daughter in Los Angeles? Yeah. What's this? Yeah. I am sorry about your daughter. I hope she's all right. Thank you. And please think about what I said. What was that about? Nothing. What's that in your hand? Los Angeles. You're kidding me. She just gave you the keys? Uh, yeah, good with kids. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
The university has four medical centers. What about a wagon? Like a kitty wagon. A skateboard, or... scooter, anything. No, it doesn't matter. We just need to get him to the center. We could both hold him and carry him. Okay. Andrew? Andrew? Andrew, this isn't funny, Andrew! 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 What did you do to him? Me? I was talking with you. Maybe, maybe he heard us. Went to the hospital. Did you see his legs? Of course I did. But he's obviously not here. Andrew! We have to go to the medical center. He's not there. Let's just go. I am not leaving here. He could be there. He could be anywhere. He didn't just disappear. Think. Think, think, think. I'm going to find him. Andrew! Jason, look. Andrew! This doesn't make any sense. Let's just go to the medical then center. Then go! Nobody asked you to say go! I am staying right here and I am waiting for my mom. Your mom? Your mom isn't coming. No one is coming for us. Okay, look. Stay here. Maybe I'll go look and come back. That, that, that would be great. Fine. Just, um... What else is dying? Why now? Why when I'm here? I want to go to college and I, I want to I want to get married and I want to have kids and I want to see my daughter take her first step down the aisle. No, I will not shut up. I don't want any of this. I hear something. Andrew. Shh. Oh my God. Is this it? if she doesn't ask for God's forgiveness. All the rest will work itself out. We'll be in Los Angeles in 30 minutes. 
That photo that you have of Robbie, that was taken two months before he died. That's right. I thought we didn't get that picture. We picked it up right before we took him into the hospital for the last time. It's a nice picture. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry I never showed you. It's just after his death. Us drifting apart. I'm glad I got to see it. Me too. Jason! Hold on! Just hold on, alright? family a brother in New York my grandmother in Delhi you only child well I had a brother he died when I was six there's mom and dad divorced so is this it Wait here until we die? There's a tale of the Battle of Kurukshetra. It was a terrible war. Thousands were slain. In the middle of this war, Lord Krishna heard the cries of a small lapwing. Do you know what that is? It is a beautiful small bird. <laughs> Lord Krishna heard her cries and took her and her small children and hid them under the body of a fallen elephant. For 18 days, a terrible battle waged. But the small lapwing and her children were kept safe by the mercy of the Lord, even in the raging battle of Kurukshetra. <sighs> we should go. Where? Shelter. I can't leave. You will be my lapwing. I will find shelter for you. I'm not leaving. Andrew's missing and my mom's coming. They would want you to be safe. From what? Where is safe? I don't think safe exists anymore. We shouldn't stay here. Glad you stopped by. Would go. I... I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, I'll make it. Few miles. Oh, great. I've been left behind. 
I'll let it go, will ya? Here's my confession. Since Robbie died, I haven't been to a church. Funny, huh? Surprising, yeah. At his burial, that priest was so mean. He blamed me for not saving our son's soul. What do you mean? We didn't have him baptized, Jason. Well, it was my decision not to have him baptized. It didn't matter. The priest was so vicious. I cried for years, and I never went back. I didn't want to think that I had done that to our son, that I had condemned him. He was just trying to scare you. It worked. I never understand why people do that. I do. He was a true believer. And when you're a true believer, it's your mission to save souls. What, now you're trying to defend him? No, I'm not defending him. I'm telling you that I understand him. Because for him, the rapture could come at any minute. He was desperate to save souls. So am I. Except that now I've been left behind because of my ignorance and my casualness. Oh, stop saying that. Why? It's true. Because if you're left behind, I'm screwed. Run! Run! When you 
reach Lindsay. Let her see your heart. Daddy. I love you too. 